An American tourist uh, takes a life-changing journey to Gori Island in Senegal. What she discovers there inspires her to produce a new perspective on Senegal. Our Kimberly Russell explains. Washington artist Jacqueline Lee creates collages from fabric depicting African life and culture. She says she started producing art with African themes after visiting the former slave trade center on Gore Island, Senegal. We were sort of immersed in the music and the culture and the people and there was just so much to see and we wanted to take all of it home. Gore Island's historical district and sites. Lee says many of her colleagues view Africa as one huge jungle. But she says it's much more than that and uses her art as a way to show a broader version of the continent, especially to African Americans. Africa to us is the motherland. You see people who look just like your family. They're telling their story, we're telling our story, and we're learning about one another through each person's story. Stories of everyday life on Gore Island, of flowing gowns and adornments, and of the island's horrific past, the house of slaves, the last stop before lifelong bondage. And as you walked around the structure, you actually felt a presence. And people, at first, we didn't talk about it. We just sort of, I guess, experienced it, just walking through the different areas. And our guides would tell us different things. And suddenly, people would start crying. and. It was just amazing. Much about Africa amazes Lee. She just wishes Americans knew more about the continent. Well, I think there's too much information out there now for people to, to really believe that um, things are the way they were years ago. Lee says her customers include people of diverse racial backgrounds attracted to her technique and use of bright colors. It makes me feel as though I've accomplished exactly what I wanted to accomplish. You know, I wanted people to experience what I saw. Um, I knew most people would not be able to take the trip, and I didn't know if I'd ever make it back there. But I wanted people to experience what I saw. And I think they do when they look at the work. Lee says she has much to say about Africa and about its people. Both inspire her, and she hopes to inspire others through her art. I'm sort of encouraged to, to do yet another piece simply because there's another image that comes to mind and that's the whole thing about Africa. You can take pictures, you can walk through the city and you come up with different pieces but it's always with you. Um, there's always another image that you, want to, that you want to do that represents the country. For Chinna Mae Wilson, this is Kimberly Russell, VOA News.